Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tyron. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to uninstall Parallels from your M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So this applies to any modern Mac operating system which has Parallels installed. All we're going to do is to remove it so that there's no trace of it left on the computer. So the main thing is that we have a virtual machine installed already. So if we want to remove this virtual machine, all we can do is to go to the control center by clicking on the parallels bar at the top and then clicking on control center here. And then we can go to this virtual machine and what we can do is delete it. So we can control click on the virtual machine here and we can click remove Windows 11. So this is the virtual machine I have installed. So if you wanted to remove it entirely, we would move it to trash or we could press the keep files button. And then once that virtual machine is gone, it's going to go into the setup assistant. However, let's say that we want to make sure that we can eradicate that virtual machine. What you can do is you can go into Finder and we're going to click Go and then Home. And then we're going to look at our home folder here. So the default location for virtual machines in Parallels is this virtual machines folder here. We're going to double click on that. And what we can do is to move this entire Windows 11 virtual machine, which is 98 gigabytes in size, put it into the bin. And then once it's inside the bin, then we can just empty the bin and then that will be gone forever from this computer. Once you've removed your virtual machine, what we can do is to quit Parallels Desktop. So I'm gonna select Parallels Desktop Wizard here and then click Quit Parallels Desktop. Then what we're gonna do is to open up Finder and then we're gonna to go to the Applications folder. We're gonna find our copy of Parallels Desktop and then we can just shove it into the bin. Enter your password and press OK. And then it's gone into the bin. Once I enter this bin, then it's going to be gone from the computer forever. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.